bank transfer. What's up, Money Geeks? Mr. V here. Welcome to another video, guys. So in today's video, I want to show you how to transfer money from your bank account to a Weibo platform so that you can start investing. So um, a lot of people, when you sign up for Weibo, um, they give you the option to actually move money from your bank account over to Weibo. So there's um, two ways that you can go about it. So you can either do what they call a CH transfer, which is free, or you can do a wire transfer, which is gonna cost you money, um, sometimes from like $25 all the way to $75. So a lot of people um, you know, usually do the ACH, which is what we're gonna go through today in Weibo. So, but before we get started, guys, if you're new to the channel, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. So if that's something that interests you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. So um, once you open your account um, in Weibo, before you even start you start trading i know they just ask you to hey you need to put money in the account to trade so uh three three things you can possibly do right you need to deposit money which you, like i said you can do through uh ach uh number two is that you can do a wire transfer which is faster you get your money the very next day you can use that for trading or if you don't if you have stocks with other companies you have assets with another company let's say robin hood um you can just request that those assets get migrated into your weibo account so i did a video on how to move your stocks from robin hood to weibo i'm gonna hook that up here so you can definitely go check it out um there's another video that i actually did too on for for people coming from m1 finance so how to move your stocks from m1 finance to Weibo. So I'm gonna hook that video here so you can definitely go check it up as well. But in today's video, it's very simple. How do I move money from my bank account to Weibo? So let's jump in and, and try to take a look and see how that works. So basically, once you log into your Weibo account, um, you come in here on the homepage, where I want you to go is, where it says um, uh, deposit. If you click on deposit, it's gonna bring up uh, the platform here. So one or two things. So if you have never done any deposit, um, this is where it's gonna ask you to, um, you know, maybe start linking your information. So in my case, I do have a, an account that I've linked here, but if I wanted to change the account, so like here, I can click on the change. Um, it's gonna tell me uh, if I wanna change the account. So and then I can go in and, and here it's actually telling you, give you some recommendations. So checking account is recommended, not savings account. Um, so this talking about your savings account has limitations because in some cases, uh, some savings account you have, you, you're only allowed to do maybe about six transactions a month, uh, which is like withdrawing money from the account. You can only do six a month. That would be an example of the limitations. Um, and this type of transfer that we're doing here is the ACH transfer. I'm not doing wire transfer, um, but I'm gonna show you guys where to go if you wanna do wire transfer. And then, um, and then they want you to identify yourself. So um, in, in this case, if you have like, an, if you do online banking, it makes your life a lot easier. So you have what you call real-time verification. So here on that real-time verification, you can directly lock into that bank account and they can verify you right there instantly and you can request your transfer um, right there the other option that you want to do too is you can do so if you do so real-time verification um, is stuff that you, you do it instantly so you can so you go in you you, you decide in, in this case we both gonna connect to the account that you want so if I click continue here we both gonna ask me to choose which um, uh, um, bank I'm using. So in this case, um, I don't see what I like here. So I can say Capital One. If I can spell Capital One here. Uh, where's Capital One? There we go. So you see, it brings up my information. So you're asking me to put my username and password. So if I, if I input that information, it would give me um, right the authentication so I can start withdrawing money. But in this case, I already have that associated with my, with my account, so I don't wanna do that. Um, the other option that you can do too here is you could do what's called micro deposit. So in this case, um, they would actually deposit um, some money into your bank account to verify that it's actually you. So you would require um, information like your routing number, which you can get from your, your check, um, your bank account number also, which you can get from your check. They're gonna need that information. Um, once you input all that information, um, you choose if you want to, if it's a checking account or savings account, and then they're gonna send those micro deposit. It usually takes about two business days. And then you, when they send a deposit, you have to come back in here and input what was sent to you. So they send something like, 
uh, 32 cents and maybe 68 cents that makes a dollar then you come in here and put that information or 28 cents and maybe 72 cents then you come in here and put that information and then just click next um, and then get verified and that account is linked so let's go back here so again like I said you have those two options I prefer the real uh, time verification especially because I do a lot of online banking so I do have access to uh, my online and I, I it feels secure and it's secure because I've used it haven't had any problems with it so um, that's so there we go back here so once you have that information you your account has been linked um, everything is good to go and then you can come in you can decide how much you want to transfer from your bank account to here so in my case I can say I want to transfer a hundred dollars from my bank account to Weibo so I can start using that for trading so once I input the amount and I feel comfortable that this is what I want and just uh, just so you know so Weibo says once you put in a transfer and that transfer gets canceled what happens is that Weibo is going to charge you a fee so they charge you up to about thirty dollars for reversers so let's say you say you want to transfer two thousand dollars and you only have two hundred dollars in your bank account you can have a reverser so we was going to charge you thirty dollars for that reverser just so you know i just want to make sure that i bring that up and then in this case i input my amount that i want to transfer then i, I click transfer to Weibo. And then I'm gonna get a notification. It's gonna show them it's pending. And then um, the way Weibo does it is that they're gonna give you, um, in most cases, they'll give you half of what you transfer. So in my case, I'll get $50 um, upon initiating a transfer. And then I'll get $50 when the transfer is actually settled and cleared um, in my account, So which is awesome. So now for people that want to do a wire transfer. So if you if you were if you're thinking of doing a wire transfer, um, very uh, just at the bottom of the screen here, so you can see uh, it says deposit by wire. So if I click deposit by wire, it brings it up. So Weibo gives you your bank information where they want you to send that money. So you go to your bank, your bank would you know send the money to Weibo's information. So they use uh, BMO Harris Bank um, in Chicago. They give you their routing number, they give you their SWIFT code and all that good stuff. And then you would give that to your bank. They'll input that information. Then once they input that information, that money will go over to Weibo. And that usually takes about two business days. So it's really, really fast. So if you're looking like, hey, I want to get done with this real quick and then definitely go with um, uh, the wire transfer. Otherwise, um, maybe four to five business days for um, the you know, the ACH to, to clear. So um, and at this point, I say transfer to Weibo. And then it will show you here that you're depositing this. You look at, hey, this is what I want. And, and they give you that warning that if you don't have that money, you have a reverser, they're, they're going to charge you. Then I say, yes, I, I, I want that. You say confirm. And then um, it submits that money, that uh, request. In my case, right now, it's submitting. And that's it. So right now, I've initiated a, a transfer of $100 from my uh, bank account to my Weibo account and then you know you have the option of making another deposit or you can view the details of your deposit and again there's the details of my deposit that uh, status is pending because it's still being processed so um, and then I have the option to you see here at the bottom I have the option to cancel that particular transfer so there you go um, yeah that's basic on how you can actually transfer money from your, your bank account to Weibo. Again, just a recap here, um, you have two ways of doing it. You can either transfer using ACH, which takes about three to five business days, or you can do a wire transfer, which takes about two business days, but comes with a fee between 25 and $75. Um, so uh, you decide which one works for you, or you can just open your account and then decide that you want to transfer your stocks from, let's say Robinhood or M1 Finance or which other platform to Weibo, that's another way that you can use to uh, funding your account. So let me know in the comment section, guys, which one did you do, ACH or wire transfer? Uh, let me know. Um, I personally like ACH um, just because uh, it, it's easy. I don't have to go to the bank. I can do that from the comfort of my house. I can authenticate myself. I don't have to wait two days before um, getting the micro deposit in the account. So I really do like that. Um, again, if you're watching, and if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, just go ahead and give that thumbs up and hit that subscribe button because that tells YouTube that you actually enjoy the content and it helps the channel grow. And as always, guys, stay motivated.